<laughs> well, you wanted to jump in on yeah, it. I really the, the lawyers to don't agree on that particular uh, one. Because I think yeah. you guys were discussing two separate issues here. Okay. You were asking a very direct question. In the absence of uh, a law uh, that creates a new taxation regime, such as the Finance Act 2023, what happens when the court sat down and came up with a conservatory order that stayed the execution of uh, Finance Act 2023, they did make a ruling that the status quo remains. And that simply means that Kenya has always had, every year, a taxation a law. Uh, we have the Finance Act 2022, 2021, all the way down. So in the absence of this, which has been set aside temporarily, the Act of 2022 applies. Uh, ask yourself why there is still continued taxation. Just because there is an existing law, there is no lacuna uh, in law that creates uh, issues of taxation. But um, suffice to say that uh, the, uh, the, the law simply provides for projections. Okay, so we are not in a catch-22 situation <clears throat> that without implementing this, the country will come to a halt. There are many cases where the projections in terms of collection by Kenya Revenue Authority goes below par. Then what happens? Parliament retreats to come up with a supplementary budget that aligns itself with the reality on the ground. Ruto only came up with projections he dreams that by the end of this year, we are going to have an additional collection of 211 billion shillings, which he thinks is lying in the pockets of Kenyans, and Kenyans have refused to give it to the government. So he's coming up with very punitive laws, making it mandatory that whatever it is, you must pay those taxes. Of course, that is not going to happen because it's a good, you know, it's ambitious, and ambitions are very good. But again, you have the reality on the ground. When you make lives unbearable by coming up with these uh, punitive taxation regimes, what happens is people cut back on their expenditure. And when people cut back, it inevitably brings down issues of tax collections. So the 211 billion is a very, very good uh, ambition but which is not going to be achieved. Under economies of scale, you know, you want to buy bulk, and as a result, get little out of that big bulk purchases and make your profits. Yeah. But Ruto is doing the reverse. He's cutting back on economies of scale by saying, just buy little, but tax it so heavily yeah. so that it equalizes the economies of scale strata. That is not going to work. Uh, it is important to note that uh, when this Finance Act was coming into place, yeah. the most discussed Finance Act ever in the country, in this country, was Finance Act 2023. And you know why? Because it is bad on its face. 1,400 petitions came from Kenyans uh, to dismiss yeah. certain elements or clauses within the Finance Act, all which were ignored. 93% of Kenyans on a survey say this is a taxation regime that we do not align ourselves to. That was all ignored. Members of parliament, uh, you know, because that is where they claim to have the numbers, and we saw it. 184 uh, members of parliament who've never gone home since the enactment of Finance Act 2023. And for very obvious reasons, my brother here, Honorable Aluale, I'm quoting him because he is here to defend himself. During the course of that uh, debate, was in a, some, I think what was a funeral or something, he knows better. But because he talked about the Finance Act positively, he had to face the wrath of the electorate. So that tells you how bad this law is to the citizen. And we only hope that the courts of law will take yeah. uh, judicial notice of all the happenings okay. that have been uh, around this Finance Act. All right. Uh, but Parliament, as I was telling you, yeah. uh, became compromised by rejecting the wishes of 93% per, uh, percent of Kenyans yeah. and went with only 7% and voted for this Finance Act. We did tell them on the floor of the House yeah. that you can do it, but there is a court of law 
that has the capacity to apply brakes where necessary. Okay. And indeed they have. All right, Dr. Luale, first I'll give you a right of response to the allegation <laughs> made by... Not an allegation, Luana. That you are the truth. 